What is up guys, your boy Remy here today and today I have another deck for you and this time a deck that is way out of my comfort zone as you know that, you know that, you know that. Uh, this is a PG Oranguru control deck, a deck that <laughs> is quite popular right now, it's, getting, it's gaining the popularity. So I decided, you know, to done it uh, over here. But before we're gonna do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more Pokemon trading card game content. And don't forget to check me out. This is this is the Twitch. Don't forget to check me out live there uh, from Monday to Friday. Right, right. All right. So let's just jump right into a deck. And Pidgeotto Control, a deck where you want to outsource your opponent. You want to discard and put into a lost zone all of their energy. A deck that, well, just like every single control deck, maybe I'm not like the, the best player, but I will try to, you know, to represent the deck uh, as good as possible. But you will see that I'm, yeah, I will not feel comfortable at all. And I know you, you like to see me in that in that spot. All right, so let's just go card by card and let's uh, then play some games. So first things first, we have a nice Ditto Prism for Orangurus, of course, from Ultra Prism as well with the resource management because we will be using the resource management attack a lot. Then we have line of 4-4 PG PG Auto, of course, with the airmail to Drapharix for the get lost attack so we're gonna put energy from our opponent's discard pile into their uh, lost zone so they will not have any resources to actually attack us right like that is outsourcing uh, here we've got one Mew and two Articuno GX for the color crush GX when we discard uh, all energy from both active Pokemons then let's go to trainer cards 38 trainer cards, a lot, I know, but we got four acro bikes, two chip chip axes, four crushing ammas. Yes, they are standard legal due to one of the crushing ammas being a secret rare in Ultra Prism, I believe. Then we have three, uh, I believe uh, I made a mistake, that was supposed to be four custom catchers. That is my mistake here. So, sorry, that was, yeah, that was literally my mistake. Uh, never mind that. So we got four custom catchers, two pole pads, four Poké Gears, two Pokémon Communications, one Reset Stamp, two Power Plants, one Brock's Grit to bring back uh, our energy and to bring back you know our stuff. Also, we've got two Cynthia's, two Lieutenant Sarges, two Moss, four Professor's Elm Lectures, two Tate and Liza, Tate and Liza's because that's Liza, and one Recycle Energy and three. What a type energy. The whole deck is down there below in the description. You can just check it out, copy and paste it, and let's just play some games and let's see how uncomfortable I am with control decks. And oh my, I know I might feel a little bit maybe grumpy today. I know, I'm sorry. Let's just find the deck first. But I, as you know, I've ordered from, from, from a card market, I've ordered the Dene, the one last missing, and it was kind of a steal. It was really you no know, good price. It was around 17 euros and the dude just texted him like hey I'm sorry before you click purchase I've sold it IRL lol sorry I'm like you m what so I'm really pissed like I'm honestly super pissed about it like I've ah uh, it was uh, we like to go first yeah let's go first because we got an airmail and airmail is of course Mm, our our engine here and we've got Oranguru resource management that is really cool we've got another on the bench we've got a ditto but that's my play I'm going first so that is all I need all right Raven now focus because I have to focus now and that is that's not gonna be easy mm, acrobike to acrobike Another Elm Selector and Oranguru, so not really stuff that I need, but I'm gonna take it. So Elm Selector, and let's prepare those two PJs, because we've got a Ditto here, right? And I've got another Pidgeotto in my hand, so let's prepare that part. And well, you know, the best card here would definitely be uh, different, different, different uh, energy. So you know what, I can wait. I can wait with that energy in my hand. There's, there's no need to rush. 
Like, really, there's no need of rushing at all. We've got a coach trainer here. Let's see the cafe. The same as yesterday. I'm getting consistent with the cafe. That's good. So at least, like, that's, you know, one good thing about day. Uh, about this day, right? Uh, Leveny. We've got, of course, uh, Shaman on a bench. Uh, Suedel. So I know uh, he's playing the weak guard energy. So my whole idea is to start getting rid of that energy from this card pile. It actually enable him to charge the tropical hour with the three extra energies, right? And oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sneezing is annoying, right? So, um, like, there's no morning without sneezing, right? So I have to wait for him to charge his GX fully, and then use my fantastic uh, get lost. But let's get an airmail. Well, I mean, I can't play power plan just because we will be using Articuno GX. So that's where I have to be careful here. I can't play that Artic uh, that power plant yet on the board. And I missed the energy that I needed, actually. But okay, so... I'm just gonna start, you know, bringing back stuff. So resource management. And actually this, because Oranguru I can bring back with uh, Elm Selector that there's no problem with that. Elm Selector. With <laughs> Brag's Grit, there's no problem with that. Plus we've got two other in hand. So I'm quite okay here in that situation. Acrobike. Alright, so he discarded the weakness guard energy, so definitely he will not be able to bring that energy uh, back, so... I don't have to worry here. Alright, airmail. Pidgeotto. Just for that additional airmail, right? So to get the stuff we need. Come on. Airmail. Actually, Cynthia is not a bad play. I wanted to play Cynthia. Like, one thing that I'm missing in this deck uh, is maybe a switch, but I think, you know, that version is optimal for what we all want to do. So, Articuno. And resource management. So, we got no discard pile. Well, he. Well, he has a discard pile. <clears throat> so my biggest problem right now is him getting all that energy. I have to wait for him to get that energy. And I don't draw any uh, Amas whatsoever. Alright, so we've got Mars. That might be okay, but we wait. I just have to wait what I can draw. Acrobike, alright, so we're gonna play that Acrobike. Another Jurafarig and a Custom Catcher. They're yeah, they're gonna be back in a deck, so... I can discard it. Airmail. Titan Liza. Almost, okay, so we've got... Uh, so on one hand, I'm happy about the Titan Liza, but on the other, well, I can't really move that energy, right? So I, I'm gonna take that Acrobike because that's what I want to do now. I want to start getting rid of uh, the energy from his side. Okay, let's play that Mars. Oh, all right, we've discarded Suedel. That's not really that bad. Uh, and resource management. There we go. I mean, I feel so weird, you know, without 
with three energies only in a deck. I mean, recycled energy would be fantastic. Like he's drawing like crazy. He needs to find that energy. Um, so that's good. That he is really short on that energy, and I like that. I do like that because once I'm gonna discard it and I'm gonna get rid of it to a lost zone. Well, I know I have an advantage. But I have to find the pieces, like Crushing Amos. And that, well... That is not gonna be pretty. Because I can't really, you know, get to them. Due to, you know, us still having 31 cards in a deck. And ton of custom catchers, but that's... Uh, okay, there we go. So we've got some Amos. Come on. No! Oh, so close. That was close. Um, energy. Okay, so I've got the energy. On Drafari, because when I'm going to play Articuno, I know I can get that energy from here. Reset stamp, huh? All right, let's play that reset stamp. Hmm <laughs> All right, because I now have to outsource him, right? So that's one retreat cost. That's one. It all costs one to retreat. Well, you know what? At least you'll have to waste the energy to retreat it. And that's, you know, that's what I wanted to, that's what I want to do to him. Just waste that energy. And so he can't bring back uh, Swadel. So of course, you know, we are trying to outsource him, right? We're trying to get rid of his source uh, of energy, you know, of everything. Okay, so he's using Switch. We might see a knockout, though. Yep. So that's a Calm Hurricane. How much energy he normally plays? Okay, let's play that Oranguru. Mars. Okay, I discarded Hapu. Um, Aramail. This is getting really interesting because now I need to get myself to Jurafarig again. Um, and actually, I can play Sarge, by the way. I mean, I know playing Sarge into Sarge. No, I can't play Sarge yet. <laughs> but next turn, okay. So I... Uh, in this scenario, I don't think he is gonna go for... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Mm, let's bring back some supporters. I mean, I have some time, right? No, I don't have to really attack now. I can just slowly, slowly go for it. Of course, like the best way would be to wait until he, you know, he fully charges that Pokemon. But here, I don't think he would do that. To be quite fair and honest with you guys, um, I think he would just, you know, leave it on three energies. Maybe play that uh, tag team on the bench as well and just, you know, stall the game. Like that's what I think he would do. Because now he has to dig for energy, and I know I have the Amas. So what I'm going to try to do right now 
is to get myself to Amherst, right? And thin out my deck. So it's gonna be Brock's Grit, and uh, Lieutenant Sarge, Brock's Grit, and we will be thinning the deck uh, out a little bit. So Lieutenant Sarge, Brock's Grit, so the energy is back, and also Drefarig. I can still play one more supporter. An airmail. Right, Mars, well... Maybe if I need it. Uh, let's go for airmail. Energy. We definitely need the energy. Airmail. And I've got the... Huh. You know what? Let's play Acrobike. Because I can still draw something out of Acrobike. And I can still draw something from Mars, so let's do it. So there goes Mars. Okay, okay, we've got an Ama. There we go. There goes the energy. There goes Gardenia. Mm, let's look at a discard pile. We've got one. Emma, two Amers. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> That's what you do with this deck. We outsource the guy, and he just he just rage quit at that. And I don't blame him. I do not do not blame him for doing that for rage quitting that. All right, guys. So that is uh, that is an amazing. Pidgeotto Oranguru control deck for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this is a little bit short video today, but yeah, like I'm just so furious and frustrated that I think you know, that would you know, really be bad quality. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching that video. Don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. Tomorrow we're going to do some uh, nice deck as well because it's Friday. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you so, so, so much. Down there below, it's a 5% discount. Any code with purchase on Professor Oak. And on top of that, also my current market seller page. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah. Goodbye, ba -ba and good night. Love ya. <laughs>